guys, it's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. Happy hump day, you guys. I am home from a long day of work and I am going to make some keto friendly sausage and kale creamy soup. My way, my version. And it is delicious. I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far. Halfway there, you guys, halfway to the weekend. And I am so excited. Now, I'm not excited about tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be like 97 degrees. But Friday morning into, or somehow it's either going to be Friday morning, Friday afternoon, whatever. It's going to be in the low 50s. The high is only 70. And you guys here in Texas, that is like, oh, godsend. We love to get these cold fronts. So, and all weekend is supposed to be really, really nice. So I am so, so excited about the weather. I cannot wait. But instead of waiting till then, I'm gonna go ahead and make this soup now so it's ready for me for the weekend. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys down here and show you what we're gonna make. And I hope you're gonna enjoy this okay, video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the sausage I got was this hot Jenny O turkey sausage. The reason I have this sausage is because I think I, I bought the bacon and I got the sausage free. So this is the sausage we are gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it over here to our pan and put it right in. I sprayed the pan with a little bit of spray pan. I'm gonna turn that on to a low medium and we're gonna let that get cooked while we're waiting on that. Let me rinse my knife off here. But while we are waiting, for that to get cooked, we're gonna go ahead and cut the vegetables that I'm gonna have in it, which basically is not very much. I mean, I basically put a little celery, onion, and then of course the whole stock um, of kale. Let's cut these nasty ends off here. And I just cut it uh, chunky. I like it chunky. I already rinsed off this earlier, so but I like it chunky. It just makes the soup feel a little bit more hearty. You know what I mean? Is that too loud? I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, now that's two stalks of celery that I did just cut up, okay? What I'm going to do, you know what, I always don't leave myself room, so how about we do it this way, we stick it in this bowl here. Okay, now I'm going to cut, a ha I've got a half an onion, half of a white onion, use whatever color onion you prefer. For my soups, I do like the white I, I also do like the yellow. I, I guess I should say that I do like yellow as well. Not red. Red is more of a sweet, so I don't want that in my soup. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and let's get this kale. And it's just one bunch of kale. That's all that I bought was just, I just grabbed one bunch. Kale's fairly inexpensive as well. I think it, this was, what, 89 or 99 cents for the whole thing. That's pretty good. And I just basically, what I do with mine is I just kind of pull it, get these off the back here, and then just kind of break them up into a bite-sized pieces. Let me get that out of there. Let's cut this off here. And then just pull it right off the stem here. Because the stem is a little bit tough, you know what I mean? So you don't want to really eat the stem. Actually, what I'm going to do real quick... I'm going to grab the colander for the kale because once I get this all off, I'm going to give it a quick rinse because it does still have some, feels like it's got some dirt on it. And I don't, don't want that in my soup because I'll tell you what, you taste it. And then once I crunch into some dirt and it's crunchy, that's the end of it for me. I won't eat another bite. It's kind of like seafood. As much as I love seafood and, and, and I love, um, clams and mussels, but I'll tell you what, if I bite into a piece of uh, sand, that's the end of it for me. 
And all of this kale, you can use as much or as little as you want, but remember, all of this kale right here is gonna boil down to hardly anything. So kale is very good for you. It's a very dark uh, leafy green. So on keto, this is very much acceptable. And I'm not even kidding, you guys are gonna so much love this soup. It is so good. How are you guys doing on your, are y'all keeping up with uh, your 10 pounds you wanna try to lose by Halloween and what you're eating in the day? I've been doing mine on my fitness pal or whatever it's called. And I've been doing pretty good. So, not sure about the weight loss yet, so I'm just gonna wait. But all I want you to do is just keep up with, so you see what you're eating and you see if you make any mistakes or anything like that. If you feel like you're not losing, you can go back and look and see what you ate and maybe, you know, kind of change it up a little bit. Just as long as you feel good and you feel healthy, that's what matters. All right, I'm going to take this over to the sink and I'm going to give it a quick rinse, you guys. Okay, so while this over here is browning up, I've got the water draining off of the kale that's sitting in there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our soup pot here. And I'm going to add just, let me get it, a tad bit of olive oil at the bottom. I would say that was probably two tablespoons of olive oil. And then what we're going to do with that is we're just going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, put our onions and celery in there and let them sweat it out a little bit. And they'll start to soften a little bit. Let's get all this in the garbage, you guys. I gotta get in the garbage because garbage day is tomorrow. Uh oh, wait a minute. I picked up some. No, I wasn't supposed to. Yep, my two bouillon cubes right there. Okay, and so while that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead over here. I forgot to bring this over. I'm gonna go ahead and get, I wanna put a couple of cloves of garlic, fresh garlic. And you can either mince it up or you can just chop, uh, pound it like I'm going to do and put it in there just like that. And I'm going to do three regular cloves. If you got giant cloves, just do two. If you got smaller ones, do four. All right, so we've got that in there. Let's clean up a little bit of this mess right here. Everyone knows I do not like cooking in a mess. I like to have everything cleaned up. You guys, I'm telling you, I don't know. Even if you're not a big kale person, you will like this soup. I promise you. Kale is delicious. I'm going to go ahead over here to the vegetables so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to, to these here, I'm going to go ahead and add some salt. About a half a teaspoon, some pepper, as much or as little as you like. I love pepper, so I got quite a bit. Uh, some garlic powder, just sprinkle over the top. And of course, we're going to put a little bit of onion powder. Okay, I've got this meat. Cooking through. I'm gonna get a piece of foil and put it over the top. Oh, um, no, wait a minute. Why don't we just put this over the top? That'll help it cook a little bit faster. I'm hot. It's because I just turned my air down when I got home. It was I had it on 80. I mean, 80 is good enough when you're just sitting, but if you start working, it's a little bit warm. All right, everything. See, you can hear it sizzling over here.
This is such a good soup. And I don't know, you guys that live up north and stuff, and I know it's getting cold where you are. Um, soups are the best in cold weather. So we're going to be making some of those keto friendly, of course. I do everything. I'm doing everything keto friendly. Um, we're going to also make because another comfort uh, in the winter time in the cold is casseroles. So I've got a few of those I'm going to make for you guys too. I'm trying to do, you know, two um, two meals a week for you guys. That's what that's what my target is. Um, and then even one of them may be something sweet. It may be some cookies, a cake. I don't know. Who knows what it could be. Pumpkin cheesecake. I don't know. I think we've done pumpkin cheesecake, so maybe we'll go with something else. But anyway, I wanna I wanna try to upload two meals a week for you guys. And don't forget, I know that my first one was probably a little bit dorky, but the Halloween, the ketoine dress up and cook. I know it was probably kind of dorky to some of you, but that's okay. I'm dorky a little bit. But uh, this uh, this uh, Saturday we're gonna be doing it again. I'm gonna dress up. And we're going to cook something different. So be ready for that. Oh, man. Onions and uh, celery smell so, so good when it's cooking together. And, you know, I'm Italian. And in Italy, uh, a staple to most dishes is celery, onion, and carrots. So. Oh, right. Now, this. Sausage has some juice here. I'm going to rinse that out real quick, you guys. All right. Anyway, so I hope you guys are having a good week so far, and I hope you are... Looking forward to this recipe I'm making for you guys. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you always know when we're going to make something good. And don't forget to comment, share, and like my videos. We need more people to get on board with us and have a good time. There was another girl that I went and saw one of my favorite viewers told her I guess about me and she shouted me out on her channel and so I went over I've been watching some of her videos she's a younger girl um I mean, well I say that because I'm you know 50 uh but anyway uh her name is Life by Jen and she's doing a keto weight loss she's very soft-spoken seems like a real sweet girl so you guys should go over there and check her channel out as well and give her some motivation, you know what I mean? I love for people to give motivation to everybody. Because that's what it is. It takes a team. It takes a team to get this done. You know what? Losing weight by yourself is not easy. And when you have a group of people that just come on and say, you know what? You're doing good. You made it. You, okay, you slipped up a little bit, but you keep going. You're doing good. We're proud of you. You know, that makes people feel really good. Whether you know it or not, it makes people feel really good. Even days I get up and I don't feel like even looking at anybody. I get up and put that smile on because you know what? There's someone out there having a worse day than me. And maybe that one smile that I give them is going to make their day. Take my pot that's got the onions and celery in it. And I'm going to add some water to it really quick. I'm probably going to add about six cups of water to it, okay? And then I'm going to put two of the Nor chicken bouillon cubes that I have. All right, let's get it back over here. It's trying to heat up a little bit. And I'm going to put my Nor bouillon cubes in there. And I took two of them. See, these are the, they're a little, you know, bigger than those. Remember the, well, we used to always get those, the little bouillon cubes, they were little squares. They were tiny. You had to use like six or eight of them. But I'm going to put two of those in. And if you don't have bouillon cubes, you are more than welcome to use chicken broth, beef broth, beef stock, chicken stock, whatever you want to use, you know, just to give us, it gives it some good flavor. Okay, I'm going to turn sausage off here.
And it's it's in it's still kind of chunky. Do you guys want to see? I'm sorry. I'm just chunking it up a little bit so it's not so big. You want bite-sized pieces. And I'm gonna wait to put that in. I'm gonna cover it, move it back, and then I'm gonna wait for this to get. Actually, what I'm gonna do is take the top part here because I want this to come to a boil really fast. Once that comes to a boil, I am going to add the kale into there, and then I'm going to add the sausage in there. So let's wait for this to come to a boil. Okay, so it is right at the boiling point. It is about to start boiling here. So I am going to go ahead and put the kale down into the soup. And just push it right on down in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this sausage, and this is one pound, and I got the hot uh, turkey sausage. Just put that right on in there. Put that top back on there for just a second because I want that to start boiling again. But before it does that, I took, um, this is a fourth of a teaspoon, but I use a little bit less than a fourth of that Zathane gum um, that helps, to, it's going to help to thicken it a little bit. And that's it, you guys. Don't put any more than that. Don't make a mistake like I did. One time it wasn't thickening up. So I thought, well, let me add more. Oh my God. I ended up throwing a whole pot of this stuff that I made. I don't even remember what it was I was making, but I threw the whole thing away. It was disgusting. It got so thick. But it don't thicken up in there, so that was enough. I put just a little, and I don't want it real thick anyway, but I want it to thicken up a little bit. Now, so I've got everything in there. Now, the last, last but not least, I am gonna add some heavy whipping cream because this is what's gonna make it creamy. I'm just gonna take it And there you go. So I'm going to say what I put in here was probably be between a, a fourth and a half of a cup. So just go right in between there or add more if you want less, if you want less. Okay. I'm going to let this simmer for a few minutes, but before I do that, I am going to do the little taste test that I always do because I want to make sure that it's salty enough. Add a little bit more salt, you guys. Because you got to remember, that's why I always want to taste it, because I added the the water, I added the um, the um all the kale and all of that stuff in there, So and that has no salt to it. So you want to make sure all your layers are going to be flavored. I think that's probably going to do it. It's gonna do it for now because I, once it starts cooking and everything comes together, then I'll taste it again. But I am gonna go ahead and let this simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer probably about 20 to 25 minutes before I plate it up and, and give it a good taste. So let me go ahead and get everything in here cleaned up, you guys. And then when this is ready, I'm gonna bring you back and we're gonna put it, we're gonna put some in a bowl. We're gonna take a big old bite. night dress on already because it just feels so comfy so I came in here and what I did is I just now turned the burner off I'm gonna take it off of that burner okay and now it's gonna stop the boiling process okay it looks so good you guys now I know I added about a quarter of a cup of that heavy whipping cream before but I'm gonna go ahead and add another full because this is gonna be a creamy, creamy soup. So go ahead and get one cup. Oh my goodness. Now 
This looks so good, you guys. That looks so delicious. So, let's go ahead. Let's grab, you know, I love my cup bowls. That's why I buy these big ones because in the winter time, I love to have my chili, my soups, uh, all kinds of stuff in here. And I even make me like my coffees and stuff for hot chocolate, sugar-free hot chocolates. We're going to make that um, this winter as well. Oh man, I make it with heavy whipping cream, the co um, cocoa powder. Oh, it's so good, you guys. All right, let me get my little ladle, ladle. Stir this up. You guys, it smells so amazing. Oh, you are gonna love this so much. Keep that covered. So let's go ahead. I mean, just look at this. Look how good that looks. Tell you what. This is a good way to get your greens in. You know what I mean? You have to get your greens in, you guys. And the better, the, the darker green leafy they are, the better it is for you. So, but I, but I also, I, I put my um, celery in everything. And then, you know, just a half an onion so it's not too many carbs with the onions because that was a, a small onion. It was only half and that's for the whole pot. So here we go. I got a little bit of onion, sausage, kale, everything on here, celery. but I don't want to burn myself. Mmm. 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 That is so good. That sausage in there is so delicious and it gives it just a little bit of a kick because it's the um, hot sausage. Definitely go with the hot sausage, you guys. Um, I mean, unless you don't like anything spicy at all because it's not overly hot. But it's enough in there to give you that little bit of a kick, and it is so good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight with me. I hope this was good for your hump day, something right in the middle of the week. And we're going to be back Saturday to make another recipe, but we're going to be all dressed up. So anyway, thank you for coming and watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you tried this recipe. Um, I'll go ahead and put the recipe down in um, the description box so that you can make it. Um, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. You guys, don't forget, again, if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment, share, and like the video. I love you guys all. Happy hump day, and I'll see you on the next video.